I do this because it's like a family thing. You have to work together with your family. I like working with him. I like to show my kids the life. It's nice, you can be outside. You don't have to sit in an office all day. It's always a variety of things from feeding calves to milking, helping an animal that might have gotten sick. Uh, my wife and I both farm with my dad full time, just the three of us. We ha are currently milking a, uh, about 140 head. Uh, 115 are going through the, pa uh, the parlor and then there's dry cows and young stock around. You are an entrepreneur, you are a sole, you know, uh, a sole proprietor, you are independent. Uh, what you get out of your business is what you put into it. You don't, I mean, having some people around to help you and guide you is good, but you're not relying on them to have something fed. If something's sick, take care of it. It is a 24-7, 365 day job. So you need to rely on yourself and the, your shortcomings are mainly on your shoulders. So it is a positive and a negative. It's extremely stressful and uh, some days are longer than others, but for the most part, it's what we both grew up with from day one and then what we are also trying to do together and hopefully in the future be successful when everything comes together and we kind of have a mutual understanding of how to make this a, a profitable business or a, at least a break-even business is even is more than enough than what we would ask out of the industry. Uh, it's harder for us up here because we have to buy all of our grain and when the milk price is the same as it was like 20 years ago at like $14, but the expenses keep increasing, it makes it very difficult to make any kind of profit. And the turnaround in profit isn't there with the lower milk prices. We all have our own challenges, but not having at least a base or something to work off of our our baseline is the same as everybody in the U.S. depending on where your, whatever state you live in and what your cash flow is. So it, you're just getting a smaller piece of the pie for farming in our location. It makes it hard to budget when you ha don't have a base price. So just think if you're getting $20 an hour one year and then you're getting $10 the next year, how do you do that? No room for improvements or altercations or make you more feasible, more profitable, uh, better comfort for the animals. Uh, you're kind of stuck in one place for well, going on five years, five plus years.